the skills for Ashurbanipal have officially been revealed so today we're gonna go over all of them and I'm just gonna say right up front that I think he is the new rally meta but first what's going on guys cheers okay so we already knew that Ashurbanipal was an archer conquering and skill based commander that much was previously revealed and his active skill here has a 1000 rage requirement it says he deals 1500 damage factor to up to five enemy targets in a fan shaped area every additional target of course reduces the damage to each target by 15 percent that's very standard and deals direct damage to the current target of this commander's troop with a damage factor of a thousand so this is literally just nebu 2.0 okay nebu does a 1500 fan shaped five target aoe but when he's expertise he deals an additional 500 to a single target this is literally the same thing just more damage to that single target this is this is insane okay this is a super powerful active skill very vanilla damage but i mean what else do you really want from a conquering commander from a rally commander let's take a look at the second skill it says this commander's archers gain 20 percent attack okay while outside alliance territory their archer units also gain 20 percent defense and 15 percent march speed so this is again a very vanilla skill this is basically like the second skill on henry except henry gets the attack and defense all the time and he gets 20 percent march speed when outside alliance territory so this is kind of like a little bit of a worse version of henry's second skill but i will say that if you are going to be rallying with ashurbanipal then he's pretty much always going to be outside of alliance territory when he's doing what he needs to do most which is attacking flags attacking fortresses and everything like that and also if you pair him with henry then this is gonna this is gonna overlap right so this is actually gonna be a pretty fast rally to be honest with you guys in the enemy territory taking a look at the third skill this is r.i.p to gorgo this is literally a counter to gorgo this commander's troops deal 20 percent more skill damage okay whenever their troop uses an active skill while attacking a city or stronghold the target deals 20 percent less normal damage for the next three seconds with a five second cooldown okay of course with the cooldown you can't you know get this from your primary and then also get it again from your secondary but still 20 percent less normal damage this includes basic attack damage counter attack damage and smite damage so you're literally just having the target deal less smite damage so if it's a gorgo garrison of course or if you're attacking a liu che right or gorgo liu che for example like this is literally just a counter to gorgo let's take a look at the fourth skill it says this commander's troop takes 15 percent less normal damage if this commander is leading a rally attack whenever their rallied army deals direct damage it has a 50 percent chance to gain a three percent bonus to skill damage dealt for 10 seconds this effect can stack up to 10 times and its duration resets whenever it gains another stack okay so the the first part of this again straight up counter to gorgo 15 percent less normal damage that is just taking less damage from gorgo and liu che okay that includes smite damage also three percent skill damage stacked up to 10 times that's 30 percent bonus skill damage on top of the 20 percent bonus skill damage that he already gets on his third skill and i think that this is going to stack relatively slowly i mean it doesn't tell us what direct damage means does that mean it has to be skill damage from your active skill does it have to be like for example the instant proc uh damage dealt by henry on his i think it's his fourth skill um is that going to count as direct damage factor that could trigger this this stack right um one thing is for sure though that eventually when you are in a long rally attack this is going to stack up to 10 times eventually i think it's going to be consistent like i don't think you're ever going to like really lose these stacks so this is going to be consistent for a long rally fight you're going to get total between this and the third skill 50 percent bonus skill damage which is insane okay and finally the expertise here says whenever this commander's troop uses an active skill it gains one of the following buffs for four seconds chosen at random you either get 30 percent archer attack 30 percent archer defense 30 percent archer health or you would get 20 percent more normal damage or 20 percent more skill damage so we have five choices here it doesn't say if these are like uh, you know if it's if it's one in five chance for any given one right we don't actually know i suspect that, that will be the case but this expertise is insane now of course it is random which isn't great you can't reliably always get the thing that you want the most but when you have an expertise that literally just th the worst outcome is 30 percent attack for four seconds like 
that's really good guys that is really good and also there's no cooldown here by the way so anytime you use an active skill this can trigger and also I wonder if this is only for Ashurbanipal skills or if it's for both commanders in the army because if this is for both commanders then you know you could pop it once and then when your secondary goes you could pop it again and get a different buff like I don't know we'll have to test that in the game that might not be how it works but these are really powerful buffs and I think based on the entire kit here for Ashurbanipal he is going to change the rally meta in rise of kingdoms he is a direct counter to Gorgo with two of his skills and the rest of his kit is just raw skill damage that has historically been one of the best you know things that a commander could be aoe skill damage okay now if we take a look at his skills and say well what about open field fighting could you use ashurbanipal for open field pvp and the truth is that yes you absolutely can but his kit's a little bit underwhelming for just open field let me explain first of all the active skill still amazing for open field pvp second skill it's good there's some conditions here of being outside your territory but in general like this is a fine skill it's just you know it's a little bit low on the stat side and there's no health here but like you know you could pair him with like Yuge Liang and be fine right especially because you get the bonus skill damage but when you take a look at his third and fourth skills um they really fall short in the open field right for example the only thing that his third skill does when he's in the open field is give you 20 percent skill damage which is equivalent to the fourth skill on Sun Tzu right so this is basically equivalent to an epic command skill which is not great right like you don't in season of conquest like that's not that's not great same thing with the fourth skill here in the open field you know this bottom part does nothing so the only thing you get from the fourth skill is 15 percent less normal damage which really is very vanilla it's it's not that much okay if you look at somebody like nebu his fourth skill has like 15 percent all damage and he has a rage reduction debuff on the target right so like nebu i think is a little bit more equipped for open field fighting but also i mean the expertise is still really good this does work in the open field so that is nice but in general i would say the players that should be concerned the most about expertising or even using ashurbanipal should be those that are planning on rallying with him right because there really is no like like sure you could do five five one one right but then you're only getting five percent skill damage and three percent less normal uh, normal damage reduction i don't know in the open field that just doesn't seem like a great strategy so for the most part i would say that if you're looking for an open field archer commander um you know herman prime is going to be probably a better choice for you than ashurbanipal now the other thing that i want to mention about the fourth skill is that it says whenever this commander's troop uses an active skill so if this applies to both ashurbanipal and whoever he's paired with then remember we have herman prime who has his expertise that causes him to cast his active skill more often now of course Herman we've already discussed this on the channel if you missed that go ahead and check it out but we've discussed that Herman by himself stacks poison pretty slowly and so you're only going to get these the additional cast of his active skill every like three skill cycles right so I mean it's nothing crazy but it is worth noting that with that free cast are you going to be able to get this active skill more often as well that could be a really interesting synergy there for just getting a ton of crazy buffs now when it comes to who the best commander pairs are going to be for Ashurbanipal I think from a rally perspective I think a lot of players are going to experiment with Henry okay I think that just makes a lot of sense he's dealing a ton of single target damage and if his fourth skill causes you to gain extra stacks of bonus sk skill damage on Ashurbanipal that's going to stack it up quicker which I think could be really really nice I think of course people are going to try and pair him with Boudica as well although I'm a little bit more confident in the Henry pairing and then of course uh, Zhuge Liang is just so powerful I think that you're you're almost guaranteed to see this combination at some point right Ashurbanipal primary Zhuge Liang secondary he's giving you the stats that you really want Ashurbanipal does not have health so that's that I think you're really going to like that a lot there's tons of AoE here another bonus to skill damage like there's so much to love about this that I think this pairing is going to be great now of course there's a little bit lack in synergy from the March speed perspective so it's going to be a relatively slow army and could you swarm it down possibly I don't think that Ashurbanipal has the same anti-swarm technology built in as Henry which is why I think Henry with Ashurbanipal is probably going to be uh the play here so those are my early predictions for this commander I'm excited to hear what you guys think in the comments section below and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel it kind of helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace